Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to teach you how to rearrange complicated looking formulas like this um, and the reason why this is a difficult one is because you've got more than one x and you've actually got one on top of the fraction in the numerator and one in the denominator so these ones are kind of a little bit tricky and you have to perform this this kind of key step or this kind of little trick to get that x on its own okay so how do we do it? Well, what we do, first of all, is if there's x's or the thing you want to make the subject, so here we're making x the subject, if it's on the bottom of the fraction, you need to get it off the bottom. But this x is trapped with the plus 4, so we need to put a bracket around that. And what we're going to do is we're going to multiply it up. So I'm going to write y plus, uh, sorry, y bracket x plus 4 equals x take away 5. Okay, so what I've literally done is taken that bracket and multiplied it to the other side. If you think about what's going on, this this top bit is being divided by that bracket, so the opposite is to times by the bracket. So we just times the other side by that bracket and pushed it up to the top. Okay, so what do we do now? Well, okay, we expand the bracket because that's the only thing we can do. So yx plus 4y equals x minus 5. Now, the reason why this particular question is tricky is because you've got more than one x. You've got an x here attached to the y and an x on the right hand side that's attached, which is on its own, sorry. And then you've got a bunch of stuff that hasn't got anything to do with x at all. So you've got this 4y here and this minus 5 over there on the other side. Okay, and the thing is though, we're trying to make x the subject. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to try and get anything that's got an x attached with it on one side of the equation and anything that doesn't have an x on the other side of the equation. So, for example, what I mean by that is uh, that's an x and that's an x. Those two things need to be on the same side of, an equ of the equal sign. So they both need to be on the same side. At the moment, one's on the left, one's on the right. Okay, so it's, it's not... Uh, on the same side and, and that anything that doesn't have an x with it needs to go on the other side the opposite side to it so here for example the, there's a y and a minus five they need to be on the same side but um on the opposite side to where all the x's are okay so what do i mean by that well actually let's just let's just do it okay so um okay how should we do it it doesn't really matter which way you do this but what i'm going to do is i'm going to get the, all the x's on the left side okay so that y x can stay where it is but this x that's on its own i need to move it over so i'm going to subtract it from both sides so i'm going to have y x uh i'll put plus four y take away x equals minus five okay so what we have here is we've got all the x's now on the same side of the equation but um, we need to get rid of anything that doesn't have an x with it so this this y here is is with the x's but it needs to go it needs to go to the other side so that the x's can be together okay so what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of it and the way to get rid of it is to subtract it to the other side okay so what we have now is minus 5 oops minus 5 take away 4y and then on this side we've got yx plus x okay let me write that x a bit better because it's not going to like that okay so y x plus sorry not plus x it was minus x sorry there's a minus there minus x okay so now look at what we have and this is literally the trick to it okay anything that's got an x is on one side anything that doesn't have an x is on the other side okay and this is it we're going to get the x on its own in literally two steps now and we are literally um two steps away and this is the key trick once all the x's are on their own all you need to do is factor the x out so i'm going to take an x out here i'm going to put a bracket in okay so what needs to go in the bracket if i multiply it by x well i'll need a y first of all because if you think about it um x times y is yx okay and then what else do i need well i need a minus one Oops, I need a minus 1, okay? Because if you look at that, um, what's x times minus 1? Well, it's minus x, so I need a minus 1 there, okay? So we're just factorizing that. Okay, and then the other side, we're going to leave it completely alone. We're not going to do anything to the other side at all. Now, this is the key bit. This is the really kind of easy bit. I just want to get the x completely on its own. So all I need to do is divide by that bracket. 
So, because if you think about what's going on, the x is being multiplied by y minus 1, because those two things are next to each other. So to get the x on its own, all I need to do is take the top and divide it by, oops, not that, by the bracket. And there we go, we've got the x on its own. Now you might be wondering, okay, why has he not written a bracket around the y minus 1? It's because you don't need to now, because it's the entire denominator. So there we go. All we have to do is put that bracket on the bottom of all of that on the other side, and we've got the x completely on its own. Okay, so let's check that. Okay, so wait for the conversion, make everything, make sure everything is okay. And we got it right. Okay, you didn't like that line, it's probably because I forgot to code it in. But there we go, it's 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 that. Okay, let's do another one. Okay, so this one's a bit different because we've got more numbers involved, but the procedure is the same. So let me copy it over here. Okay. Oh, and by the way, it doesn't matter which side you put all the X's on. So you can put them on the left or the right. It still works. And in whichever way you do it, the answers the answer will be kind of the same anyway. It might be kind of like with some extra minuses on, but I'll explain in a minute. Okay, so I'm going to put the bracket, the denominator up. Remember to put it in a bracket. Okay. Then you expand the bracket, so it's 2xy minus y equals uh, 3x take away 2. Okay, so now what do we need to do? Well, we need to get anything that's got an x with it on one side. So this is a bunch of stuff with x. That's got an x. They need to be on the same side. Anything that doesn't have an x, so this thing here and this thing here needs to be on the same side of the equation. So what we're going to do? Okay, so what's the best strategy? And it really doesn't matter which way you do it. So what I'll do is I'll add the y over. Okay, and so we'll have 2xy equals 3x minus 2y plus y. And then what we'll do, we'll take away 3x. Okay, take away 3x. So we have 2xy take away 3x equals minus 2 plus y. There's probably a need to way to write that. I'll probably write y minus 2, but minus 2 plus y is the same. Okay, so now we need to factor the all the x's are on one side so we factor the x out so what do we need in the bracket well we'll need a 2y to get 2yx when we multiply it and a minus 3 to get minus 3x and then you got this on the other side okay so all we need to do is divide by that bracket and you should have this okay so remember to write in the answer line okay and then that is the answer okay so let's check that Okay, wait for the conversion. Okay, lo and behold, we got it right. Okay, now um, it doesn't matter which side you get the X's and Y's on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it slightly differently on this one. So okay, so from let's let's do let's do it quickly. Okay, I'm going to take that bracket. I'm going to push it up to the top. I'm going to multiply it to the other side. Okay, so you have that. Okay, and then what we'll do is we'll expand the bracket. So seven Y take away Y X equals 5 take away 2x okay what we'll do this time around is we will um let's let's take the minus yx and add it to the other side okay uh okay so let's let's take the minus yx okay and then we'll add it to the other side over here and then what we'll do is we'll take the 5y and minus it to the other side so we'll have it subtracting this so let's let's do that then okay so Let's add the yx over. Okay, and we'll have 5 take away 2x plus yx. And we'll minus the 5 over. Oh, so we've got 7y left on that side, sorry. And then minus the 5 over. So we'll have 7y minus 5 equals uh, minus 2x plus yx. Okay, so all the x's are on one side. Because let's factor the x out, and we'll have a minus 2 plus y in the bracket, and then a 7y take away 5. And then if we divide by that bracket, this is the answer. y minus 5 over minus 2 plus y equals x. And we should check that. Okay, so there we go. We got it right. Okay, it didn't like that line because... Oh, ugh, I'm being silly. What did I do? Okay, I did. I just basically forgot to write that, I think. And, um, okay, so we didn't like that line. Okay, 
but I've, uh, um, in the in the in the link in the description, guys, there's a bunch of questions that you can have a go at now, where you can practice this skill, and you shouldn't get any errors because I think I've I've typed in all the different permutations on this particular one. Okay, but that is the answer. Now I just want to explain that you can get you, it doesn't matter what side you get all the x's and y's on. So I'm going to do the first one again, but I'm going to do it differently to show you what the other variation is. So this is the first example I did. Okay, so I'm going to multiply the bracket, the denominator up, and I'm going to expand the bracket. Okay, and then you get that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get all the x's on the right hand side, and anything that doesn't have an x is going to go on the left hand side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the 5 over, because it's minus 5, I'm going to add it over, and I'm going to take away the y x. So I'm going to get this x, take away y x, and then I get 4y plus 5. Okay, and then if I factor the bracket out, I get 1 minus y, and then 4y plus 5 over, oh sorry, not over yet. Okay, so then the answer is x equals 4 plus 5 over 1 minus y, and then that's the answer. Okay, and that's also correct as well. Now, the reason why that is, if you think about it, um, the other version we got, I think it was the following, wasn't it? So it was minus 4y minus 5. And then it was y minus 1 or something like that, I think the first one was. But if you look at it, they both look very, very similar, don't they? They actually look very, very similar. And they are actually the same statement. If you multiply top, top and bottom by minus 1 of this one, so if you imagine you multiplied literally every term by minus 1, you get that. And that's basically it. And it, it literally depends on what side you get x and y on. So if you put all the x's on the right-hand side, and factorize you get that version okay if you put all the x's on the left hand side so on this side then you get this version but they're actually just equivalent to each other because if you multiply top and bottom by minus one you get the same statement okay now um that's the end of the vi video um so what i'd recommend is while this is fresh in your head go click the link in the description which will take you to this very page and you can have a go at some questions on your own and see how many get right and if you liked my video, please like and subscribe my video. That would help me out massively. Thank you very, very much for watching, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.